So this is uh, just past the beginning of the EV Mongoose restoration project. Um, just just beyond the beginning, I stripped this off, and it's there. As you can see, the carpet is completely worn and not very nice. But uh, these will come out looking like today, pretty much. Fixing all these little things. Every little thing. Everything about it. It's going to be looking just as good as new. Obviously the drivers come out when I work on them. Um, except for when I took the carpet out of here, I had the drivers in there. I thought it wasn't much of a a, um, a risk. So I'll do the same with that one. Then when, what, the, yeah, then when I start sanding them, uh, pretty much take the drivers out. Won't be using them for a while. And yeah, all the holes, put them in just a bit more, give it a bit more impact with the impact driver. Fill all these holes up all over the place. Center punch, put them in, put, you know, things like that. Like this. Fill it all and send it all back with fine sandpaper. This is gonna be my friend for a long while. Yeah, this is uh this is the beginning. The beginning stage. These ones were designed in EV Australia. More on that I'll uh put in a link yeah, at the bottom uh, showing who actually designed them in Australia. They're extremely rare. So hard to get. I'm not sure how old they are, but yeah, you never see any footage whatsoever about a lecture voice mongoose. I don't see anything. It's hard to find any information about them. So if there's any lecture voice mongoose enthusiasts out there, yeah, we could uh, all chat. Show us what you got, you know, that would be cool. But these things are gonna look really good when they're done. Probably took me about, oh, what do you say, five years to try and get these. Got them shipped over from Western Australia to Sydney.